There we go. All right. Guess who we're watching? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if this is going to be spooky or not. Probably not, but you know. Eh. <laughs> gonna watch. Gonna watch the AI of Incognito Bull. Yeah. Some internet has still Murrigan. AI. I think this came out like yesterday or AI. a day or two ago. All right. Who's the AI? I'm tired of being accused of being the AI clone. You're <laughs> the AI clone. Don't listen to him. He's the one. No, you're uh, the AI. Uh, I don't know which one to shoot. Guys, I think it's me. Hey, man. Don't talk like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. None of us are none The of us too are many fingers. Us. Guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a problem. How do I solve this? <laughs> it's a... You just click the... You just... Hmm. Uh-oh. Well, have you tried, um... A gun! Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I've actually... I just got distracted. Okay. I looked down. I, I, I actually saw like a video someone posted of them actually trying one of those self-driving cars. It was like it, it was basically a taxi version of a self-driving car. They, they didn't actually own it. They used it as like a service, and uh, <laughs> she looked like she was in a roller coaster, like simultaneously excited and horrified. <laughs> like I don't know. I, I did, like, I don't know if I would want to be in one of those self-driving cars because it, it's just, it is kind of freaky. I'm not going to lie. It is kind of freaky. There was a video, like it's like five minutes crafts. Yeah. And they're, they're just going, easy way to cut a watermelon in half. <laughs> and there's two people, one's on one side of a car door, one's on the other, and they wind up the window. <laughs> Slices the watermelon in half. This is fucking genius. What yeah, but, they should do is they yeah, should but put did a you knife on the, the top of it. Oh, yeah. It the, was chopping the, the glass. Yeah, the glass should be like broken glass. Yeah, but did you notice the watermelon was already like kind of okay, okay, cut? So I've got one fact. Like the watermelon on the bottom, if you look at that stupid fucking five minute craft bullshittery, you can tell it's already been. Like thinly sliced through for like a bit for the window to like actually get up in there, <laughs> get up in that watermelon's business. There's such bullshit yeah. on those fucking yeah. craft fully videos. Self driving cars are yes. really here. Mm -hmm. Commuting will become a much smaller deal. You've arrived at your destination. <laughs> because if you can sleep in your car, then the commute isn't a problem. Yeah. Not the so fucking cyber the truck. I'm so I'm so tired of seeing these cyber trucks. They're so hideous. I can't. For, yeah. You sit up from your house at five a.m. I can't. Meanwhile, you're not even waking up till seven. Yeah, yeah. And you live like two and a half hours away from the city. That's not a problem. You live in the beautiful countryside, and that's just part of your sleepy routine. Yeah. Let's say you're making dinner and you're missing an onion. You're dead. Your oh, car God. has a full <laughs> kitchen in it, too. Yeah, you just keep cooking. You go to the supermarket. When you get to the supermarket, people are doing this now. Onion. People are actually yeah, yeah, gives it to yeah. you. making dumbass yeah. videos you, of them, you tap them the side cooking of your while driving and shit in the car. Like, stop. In Bitcoin. <laughs> Which at this point is now the <laughs> world's currency. Of course, the full kitchen. Not yet. Yeah, not not in a cute way dash. either. It's, it's like it's full on kitchen stick. Wool sockets and a bench. Yes. And you keep meaning to like find something to screw it down, but you just haven't quite found the time. Why do I always pick deep frying on these trips? <laughs> <laughs> we should pick something else. All right, we'll do sous vide. Did you say sous vide? <laughs> the yeah. sous vide. How's it, how it pronounced? Sous vide. Sous vide. <laughs> I only ever seen it written. Then you're, then you're cutting up the onions in the back. You've got the automatic robot that's like sucking out the onion smell. <laughs> yeah, there's a small Roomba AI Roomba <laughs> cleaning up all the mess, all the grease on the ground. Do not trip over him. Cybertruck two, drive faster, please. <laughs> Cybertruck two, I'm re I'm really getting quite late for my dinner date. Put it in. God, could you oh, imagine that the fucking. <laughs> 
<laughs> muskrat trucks <laughs> in a video game, all suspension it would be the least the picked and worst part of the game. You just know it. <laughs> Cybertruck, uh, turn off old, old unsealed road diversions. <laughs> just ignore all detours, put full power to the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> just blind everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Flashbang! Fucking hell! <laughs> You've got. Oh no! I didn't bring my family a, a half slice of watermelon. And then you. <laughs> Cybertruck, open up the sunroof, would you? <laughs> <laughs> and the sunroof's like a guillotine. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot wait for the future. <laughs> the future's sweet. Honestly, that <laughs> and the th and the beauty is the, just they're joking about the that. The but the funny thing is, like, didn't someone like almost cut a finger off, or actually cut a finger off, or something because of the Cybertruck? Like something went wrong, went horribly wrong, as it does with the fucking thing, and like they. They lost an appendage, or almost did. It's just... It's a fucking death trap, okay? It's a disaster waiting to happen. Eager to happen. It's just... It's waiting for its moment to shine to make you go to the ER. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> it is going to be interesting because I don't give a shit about cars. No. Who does? As a man, you know, you have... There's kind of a primal, like, appreciation for for big machines. But I don't care. I, yeah. to this day, can't tell any cars apart. You know, like in my Uber drivers, like pulling up in a fucking, uh, a, a Demio. I'm like, I don't know what that is. It's gonna be interesting because <laughs> there's gonna be a mix of people like you or I, who just see mm. it as a means of transportation. And so like a self-driving car with a fully equipped kitchen and goon mm. station set up is gonna be <laughs> king. And we're gonna look like yeah. fucking idiots on the roads. And, but then you're gonna have the car guys who no. they still want to no. drive their car. Yeah. And obviously you're not gonna not be able to Not the Fast and Furious. Don't ruin so Fast and Furious really like that. Come on now. People on the road. Okay, I've got two things. So first of all, yes. if I was a smarter man, an engineer, you know what I would spend some of my time doing? Inventing a seatbelt for someone who can lie down. Oh. <laughs> because that'll, like, the reason you can't sleep in, like, a caravan is because, oh, you know, you might go flying around the caravan's too dangerous. <laughs> and you could prove that, hey, well, I'm, I'm still strapped in, even it's though I'm sleeping. It's dangerous and illegal. That's fine. You get the patent for that. Everybody's going to pay three cents or whatever the fuck for a seatbelt. Beautiful, you're rich. What I'd do is I'd have the, the seatbelt go from my groin just up over my shoulder. And just hope like how you don't crash. Yeah. Uh, no. Hit the brake, would you? Okay. I like okay. to <laughs> Cybertruck new to me. <laughs> I want to be like that watermelon <laughs> caught in the windshield. In principle as well, like if you've got these cars that can just react to everything and you know that like it'll just slam the brakes as hard as it can to yeah. prevent someone getting hit, then there's going to be some real asshole pedestrians. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you imagine a freeway, and these computers can just react in, with millisecond precision. Yeah. And so you may as well just walk across the freeway, and if everybody has to hit the brakes and they're all getting f***ed up in their cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's not my problem. Yep, and it has nothing to do with me. Uh, is AI gay? Yes. Is AI gay, yes or no? Let's ask it. Yes. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And it said... As an AI language model, I don't have a sexual orientation or characteristic. Yes. If you have any other questions, I That's hate a yes. that. This is the <laughs> worst part. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Like, I just did. Yeah, what do you think I'm here for? <laughs> <laughs> Although, I've got to say, you know what ChatGPT is good for? I chuck in an earpiece and I am talking to that thing an hour a day. Really? Yes, but they have chosen to have five voices and only one is good and like okay get this right you're making an artificial intelligence yeah, i haven't you're tried to any of these really ai well. but the five chat voices gpt that type to shit is i haven't tried any of those i don't know service lady hello i'm calling about your current car insurance <laughs> <laughs> two is like a boy i want to be spider-man all right number three is what? also a boy no, okay. i want to be spider-man number four is uh, like a teenage boy no i want to be spider-man the f is this a program for teenage boys that have no friends? <laughs> number five is like Scarlett Johansson from her. You're just really ugly. 
<laughs> and that's fine, but everybody is going to choose that one because it's just the most pleasant voice. So you've given us five options and only one is good. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? And then with the Sky Voice, you can't even select it. It's turned off at the moment. So you're stuck with customer service lady and she's fine. I heard the Scarlett Johansson thing was, uh, was a bit of a, a legal shenanigan. Yeah, I, I don't think they really took her voice and trained it off a whole bunch of movies. They just went, oh, this lady also sounds like Scarlett Johansson. You don't want to do it, Scarlett? All right. <laughs> Someone who sounds like you. Is that Simpsons, like, uh, Get me Steven Spielberg. He's unavailable. Then get me his non-union Mexican equivalent. <laughs> yeah. Good timing. No. They just added, like, four new voices. No. Uh, none of these are good either. Like, listen to this. I want to be Spider-Man. 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 They need, like, fun stuff. That would be so good if you could get Mr. Beast. And every time oh, he no, him, not like, Mr. Beast. <laughs> and he's and screaming. <laughs> so what's uh, like another a YouTuber, famous, rich in person region? in trouble We're right now? I don't know what for exactly. Trees. I just know there's drama. Uh, what kind of trees? Because YouTube a likes tree. to recommend that shit. I've got 10 million deciduous <laughs> trees. <laughs> Which one will be the timber that we use? You've got a million YouTube voices out there, and you're not going to have like critical being like, um. Hey guys, today, I, go, yeah. <laughs> I can see that you're trying to calculate how many miles to the moon. I think that's really rad. <laughs> that's so fucking long, man. Yeah. How about like Pepsi Max? Yeah, <laughs> it, there's a, there's a, um... Pepsi Max, calculate the distance yeah, from Yeah, I love how moon. all the voices yeah. were yeah, wanting way, to be Spider-Man. By the way, would you like a Pepsi Max? <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly four million Pepsis to the nearest star. <laughs> <laughs> you'd want, like you'd want Batman or something like to be like, yeah. I, I can tell you all about pine trees, kid, but there's a lot you wouldn't want to know. That's <laughs> yeah. Stuff, you know? Yeah, you'd want like, well, no, you 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 want to be Batman, and you'd want it to be like Batman's little fucking. You want it to be. Oh like, yeah. Well, they've got Robin. Jiminy Jilliker's Batman. Yeah. <laughs> they got that one covered. <laughs> tell you what. You're just stuck with the sidekick voices. <laughs> you put an earpiece in, right? Yeah. And then you play. A video game like one with like rpg elements and <laughs> no and you don't know not the this and it no. is so much fun no like if you play baldur's gate 3 and then you pick up some item oh, and you're like, oh flashback to mind? that what fucking this review what, of that game in that gameplay of i might use this so-called game journalist and then i just ask it can't play hey, a fucking you, game for anything and then it goes no their only use is to fill out backstory elements to the game's narrative <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. It's brilliant. It does take away. I feel like it takes away some of the magic of, of a game like Baldur's Gate. But in another game, I feel like who gives a shit? Mm. That's great. We go. I my armor is like armor rating fourteen. What does that mean? Is that good? Not to say this is a bad idea by any means, but you could also just hop on a phone call with me for like you just have me in your earpiece for eight hours and ask me D and D questions. <laughs> I tell you what, this is kind of sad. When um okay, we're so <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I had my, my AI in my ear, and I had just asked it, where's Karlak? Because I didn't know where she was on the map. Oh, you rube. It got, it got through giving me step-by-step -step instructions like it was fucking Google Maps. It was brilliant. You arrived at your destination. And then, <laughs> afterwards, I went, I found it. And the AI goes, that's great. I hope you enjoy the rest of your game. And I went, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will. And it, was, it was kind of that nice. That is blushing. Like, you know, I will enjoy the rest of my life. I will that's actually. That's what you to say. That was, that was funny. Ad time. <laughs> the awkward part. Oh, I'm out of data <laughs> on me phone. Sally it's me, Sailor Man. What the Take this. Fuck? Strong data for 15% off. Sailor. That's so generous. Wait, what's the product? It's Sailor, a brand new eSIM service from Sailor. And that data works all over the world. Sailor. Whoa. That's right, Mo. Sailor what works in over I... 150 countries. They're fucking Let's go down to South sponsorship Sudan and ads help the are just Boom! 15% off! Ah, thank you, Sally Man. You're so now fucking I can out afford there. to buy more gems in Candy Crush. It's not mm -hmm. just for him, it's Candy for anybody really? that goes to the link. That was so generous, Sally Man. Shut up! 
I'm thrilled that I no longer have to deal with the telecom companies. Uh, may I please have international roaming data? Yeah, but we're gonna have to upgrade your plan to the next level, and then it's gonna be seventy dollars a month. <laughs> just cause. The just cause tax. The Sailey signal. Look over there, Sailey man. It's a mugging. <gasps> Not in one of America's vibrant cities. Da -da -da -da. Sir, why are you mugging that person? I tell you, the cost of living is fifteen percent <laughs> too expensive. See, Mo, the people need help with their roaming data. Take this fifteen percent off coupon. Sailey. Thank you, Sailey man. I'll never mug again. The only mugs around <laughs> yeah. here, Sailor Man, are the telecom companies with their outrageous mobile data prizes. So right now, you can go over to sailor.com slash incognito and get 15%... What? 15% off? Who's... What? At Eason. With at sailor.com slash incognito. And over. Okay. Now, you had a thing that you wanted to show me, actually. Yes. What the hell was that? So I've been very harsh on AI art so far. However, yeah, the AI you need to art know about me. Um, yeah. All of my morals go out the window as soon as I can make one of my friends laugh or a sizable YouTube audience. Yeah, I AI again, music is the AI art thing. It's fucking bad. I not only is the, the art that the AI generates just shite, but it's also stealing. <laughs> So it's like you get you getting double negatives over here. You getting double negatives. You just lose losing. I just it's it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Very funny. Mm. You can type anything into it and it will make the catchiest song you've ever heard. Here's a song we made on my podcast. Oh boy, my monitors have arrived. My posters are it's gonna be a good time. I'm twiddling my peanuts to Bailey J. What? One finger in my to prove I'm not gay. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you come up with the lyrics? Yeah, we just wrote like one line at a time, like taking turns. <laughs> That's scarily good, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that uh, weird? What is this called? Suno.com. Now, the other great thing about this is you can just write gibberish and it figures out how to sing it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fuck? I. I'm thinking we should come up with a couple of uh, songs ourselves. I think Just that's stop. a good idea. Just stop. Right, stop Mr. the bad. No. To the new studio. No. How do we make one of our own? Oh. You can't say specific artists, which is good, okay. but you can give it a few different prompts. Let me give you the official theme song of In the Field. <laughs> Not the fucking Nineties Tesla. Pop, piano, I bro. I can't. We'll just make that. Okay. Yeah, like, I just generate two photos of a field. Well, uh, we'll see what happens here. All right, here we go. I'm scared, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, let's maybe we go line by line. We'll do our own. There's a guy in the office here, and he's allergic to peanuts. Oh, oh. we've got one of those. That's your diversity <laughs> hire. <laughs> he's he's diversity at hire. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, he's not very pleased. Should we just list things that have peanuts in them? Chicken satay, Snickers, Reese's Pieces. Maybe I'm I'm coming out of my shell, and I'm doing just fine. Yeah. <laughs> Because because it starts off with his fear of peanuts, and but then by the end he's like, no, I've decided to eat the peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like back in the day where Michael Jackson was mastering Thriller, <laughs> and there's everyone crowded around in the room, and they're like, yeah, yeah, change that, change that bit, yeah, and yeah. add in more chorus. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! So scroll back down. Okay, my doctor thinks I'm nuts, but that just can't be. My life's too smooth to be chunky. <laughs> That's it. You know what? Let's just shoot this one out. Yep. 
All right, it's called Peanut Steve. <laughs> I'm allergic to peanuts. If I touch them, I'll die. This is so. My throat closes up, men. <laughs> My throat closes what? up. I'm falling into Reese's arms and pieces. Is this pot pie peanut? This is what thing? has become a society, like a choir. Oh, now we're talking. Does it taste like a pea? Does it this is what has like become of us. That's all right. Here's the funk one. Does it taste like a pea? Does it taste like a nut? And a galactic shock when it reaches my gut. Stunned through the heart with an epinephrine dart. I'm coming out of my shell. Holy shit. I'm going quite well. I want to feel nuts in my mouth. <laughs> I I don't know what to say, y'all. Oh my god, it's so catchy. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually yeah. gonna have that in my head. That's pretty good. All right, let's make a new song. No. Here's on pitching, going out to the club, having a few drinks, kind of song. No. You know, like a Black Eyed Peas tonight's gonna be a good night. Oh yeah, generic in Duck Club. Yeah, like that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like, I don't know, Panda. Floor, I don't know. Like. Get floor. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, more nonsense, but yeah. Get floor. This is the chorus. Tonight is going to be the evening of the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, ladies. Now, ladies, put your arms. Put, yeah, no, that's it, no, no, that's it. <laughs> by a girl. The whole club is here. This <laughs> <laughs> is fucking well, what nonsense. We, we just preview that it and then see where we This is so shit. This is cooking. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. If you threw this into the mix, I just wouldn't know that it wasn't real. I saw my friend Jared dig his girlfriend because I made a bunch of stupid songs and he just like played it for her and I just casually like put it on the background so <laughs> she'd notice. I don't think she did. For the record, I do not condone this. I do. Oh, I no. know a the lot brain of chips. teachers, uh, and the ones I know I like. But Listen, I remember ninety uh, percent of teachers. I don't know what it is from, but it, I remember seeing this uh, this video of someone talking about this couple where they have like everything chipped in their house and everything, where it's like they have those those chips um, in their hands, and they have everything everything activated by them in their house. Like, if if it could be turned on, turned off, activated in some way, they're, they're fucking locking their doors and shit, their windows. Like, they were obsessed, y'all. Obsessed. It was fucking ridiculous. Shit at their job. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a lot of bad teachers, and that does uh, definitely impact people's desire to learn. Do you think the next generation's f no? Okay, having a good thing that you can just like voice chat with and be like, right, so what's what's the deal with the area of a rhombus? And you talk to it, and then it tells you, and you go, I don't get it. Dumb it down, and then you can do that ad infinitum, and it will just keep dumbing it down for you until you get it. That, that's working off the assumption <laughs> the that blocks. there would be a student who has the thirst for knowledge. I'm just gonna be like, hey, how do I fucking? F I can't be bothered. Yeah, <laughs> give me eighty percent the right answers, thanks. Yeah, no, it's it's actually. I mean, it's already starting to happen sense. already. Okay, here's a scenario. First off, like let's say you could have a computer brain interface. Yes. But then, oh, you're back at school, 50% of the kids and they want to learn, and then there's the 50% that don't. And then one half goes off, go to jobs and, and regular stuff, and then the other half, they can have, like, the universal basic income thing, right? Yeah. But the cost is, I rent out the computing power of my brain <laughs> because it's so much more efficient than any of the data centers. And then it's like you plug in for maybe eight hours, and they're like, yeah, cool, here's your check, and then off you go. <laughs> that is awfully dystopian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't give them any more fucking bad ideas. That's the most dystopian thing I've ever heard, and I love it. 
If someone said to me, you can power all the AI robots, like domestic cleaning robots and stuff, but you don't have to lift a finger you can effectively just play video games with one half of your brain and the other half is, is unconscious and just doing stuff. Hey man, sign me up. I would have an augmented like limbs. I think having like a fucking sweet robot arm where I could like punch through walls and like Deus run Ex really this fast. Bitch. <laughs> I definitely do just, that. Just superpowers, yeah. Yeah, I want, I, I want to be physically stronger, but don't touch the brain. I need that. Mm. Man, I already struggle to fucking discern reality from fiction as it is. What if it's just operating while you're asleep? That's what I'm saying. It'd be terrifying. Like, oh, I, I, do I fully have control? anymore or does the man have control because you know they would never turn that thing off fully even if you ask them to yeah it'd be doing like firmware updates just for the sake of security <laughs> no not the windows update your thoughts to be like okay he's, he's interested Could in you McDonald's. imagine they in, they install windows 11 to you and you just immediately crash our, our burger king sales budget <laughs> what you want to do is you do whatever the rich people are doing because they would know. If none of the politicians and rich people were getting microchips, we definitely shouldn't be getting, shouldn't be doing this. I suppose. Half the fun of being human is being like, oh, what, what happened with this thing here? And the other person being like, oh, I'm not really too sure. And then even though you have the power to Google it, you don't. And you just <laughs> say, ah, oh, yeah, that's probably what happened. That's, <laughs> that's most of my experience has been like, yeah, I think I, yeah. I think that guy died. Oh, well, I won't look it up. Imagine how weird oh, well. conversation would be if just everyone had brain chips like that and you're going out, you're just having like a casual like brunch conversation and be like, oh, what happened with that? Do you remember, yeah. do you ever hear about uh, Watergate? And then you just see the other person go like limp for a second while they like <laughs> go into <laughs> the that Ryan palace and then come <laughs> back like, oh, yeah. You know, you know, like during a cutscene when yeah. like you're playing The Witcher and they don't register the other half of the environment right it's just where the camera is pointing only yeah. that is being rendered and so every time the camera cuts to a reverse shot the hair just oh, yeah, bounces into the shot yeah yeah because that's the reason <laughs> it does that every time you have like a normal conversation you weren't consulting the mind gpt were you no 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 no, no my god what if that's the very subtle like, okay, very subtle we're gonna put brain chips in people hmm. but we need some way to show that people are using them because otherwise, you know, people could be doing all sorts of sketchy stuff yeah. at all times. So the, the trade-off is when you're using it, you go completely limp. So it'll be like that. That's how you can do like school exams still even though you've got the chip because they would they'd be <laughs> the able to fucking tell, like, drooling oh, yeah. Is... Yeah, that'd be great because you'd be like rock climbing or something and you ask your mate you go like hey what's <laughs> two plus two <laughs> 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 Someone and would do that. Someone would do that. All right, Someone. Chat PT, write an outro for this episode of In the Field and play. Well, that's it for today's episode of In the Field. Our boots are muddy. The mysteries of the internet are still somehow unsolved. And we've probably violated a few international laws along the what? way. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, but hey, that's just another day on the World Wide Web. What? Thanks for watching. What is this remember, cursed monstrosity? Reality is just a loading screen. See you in the next one. Incognito mode. Out. What in the nightmare fuel was that outro? <laughs> that was that. Oh god. Wow. Just wow. <laughs>